Hi, Madison, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have Vlogmas week four. So, it is the final week of Vlogmas. I oh, know, can you believe? And I have nothing much to say. If you guys tuned in last week, if you guys watched last week's vlog, watch the end of it, you will know that I'm currently feeling dead. I'm extremely burnt out right now because I have one more day left of work tomorrow and then I'm actually flying out to go visit my parents in Vegas. And so right now I'm just, I'm not functioning because I have been literally pushing myself to the max to get everything done for work, everything done for myself here. Everything is just crazy. So um, tomorrow morning I actually wake up really early because I've got to drive to Long Island to go drop Zelda off at a cat boarding place while I'm gone because I uh, can't really fly eight hours with a cat. She will pee. So um, that's great. Got to do that at like seven in the morning and then I got to work all day. I got to still pack tonight. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm reading. I have a I have a crap ton of books um, downloaded on my Kindle. Um, and then I'm reading a couple books with me just for TikTok purposes, but then I don't know what else I'm gonna bring to physically read. Um, so I'm gonna like peruse my shelves, figure it out that way. But yeah, I'll catch you guys up uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully, if I have time to breathe and update you guys before I get to the airport. Otherwise, <laughs> wish me luck. Um, yeah, I'm not having it, but we'll see how this all goes. Anyway, catch you guys up later. Goodbye. Hello, okay, so um, it's been a journey and a half these last couple of days. Well, why was my voice doing that? But um, yeah, it was such a debacle. It's Thursday now, so I haven't updated you guys in two days only because like it was such a nightmare. So I, after I finished talking to you guys, you know I was packing for leaving for Vegas and I ended up staying up until two in the morning packing. So then when I set my alarm for the next morning to wake up at 5.45, I slept through it. And then you know, I had to take Zelda all the way to Long Island and drop her off the daycare center. And so I was like rushing and there was like traffic and I like barely made it back in time for work, which was so anxiety inducing. And then, you know, I was rushing all day trying to make sure everything was done for work and getting all this stuff done. And then like, I knew I had like a couple of meetings I had to have. And then like, I knew I had to leave a bit early to get to the airport because there was gonna be traffic trying to get to JFK. And like, I managed to do everything, but it was still super stressful. And then I get there and they go, you know what? Your flight's delayed. And I go, Really, that's wonderful. Thank you. So, by the time I did get into um, Las Vegas, it was like past midnight. So that was wonderful. Um, but you know, it's all good. Yesterday, I just was dead. I just slept all day yesterday. <laughs> I did read. I did read. So I have read um, one and a half books since talking to you guys. I have read um, *Roman* by Sophie Lark. I'm in the middle of *Dom* by Sophie Lark. These are books three and four in her Underworld series. Her Underwood series, you have to read at least the first four books before you start her Kingmaker series because it kind of all starts to tie in together in book three of Kingmakers. So Roman follows Roman and Mila. Mila is actually the sister of the heroine in book two. Um, and Roman is a bully romance. He did bully her back when they were in high school together. And now it's many years later when they cross paths again, he is, you know, trying to legitimize his bratva business and is creating this like brand new casino hotel. And Mila is a journalist who is sent to kind of do like a slander piece on him. And obviously that they reconnect and he's actually been like furiously in love with her this entire time, but like didn't realize that's the reason why he hated her so much was because he was actually in love with her. And it's her being like, I hate this guy. Why am I now attracted to him? I freaking loved it. I normally don't like bully romances. I've tried a couple in the past and I've never like actually enjoyed them. But for some reason, this one, it really spoke to me. I guess it's just the way that Sophie writes her bully romances. And what I've kind of learned is that like, there can be a lot of tropes that you don't necessarily like, but it really does depend on the author. Like I have read age gaps before and I, that I didn't like. And I've read student teacher relationships that I didn't like, but then I read Gianna Darling and I love her age gaps and I love her student teacher relationship. So I guess it really does just depend. So I really loved um, that as Bully Romance. I gave it like a four out of five stars. It was like less than 300 pages, just a really fun and quick book. I really did enjoy it, especially because I liked the whole aspect of like kind of the different corruption because this taste does take place in Paris as well. Cause it's like Paris Bratva, which was a very different kind of situation. I really like how unique that was as a mafia romance. And then book four, which I'm currently reading is Dom. Dom is the brother of the hero in book one, who is Ivan. And Ivan is the head of the Petrovs Bratva. And they are pretty much like the head Bratva of Russia. Like you don't want to mesh with the Petrovs. But um, currently the police commissioner, this brand new police commissioner is like trying to like weed out all corruption and is trying to like take down the Bratvas. And Dom ends up falling for the police commissioner's daughter. 
Oh, love that forbidden aspect so much. I am like in love with this romance. I think it's honestly, I'm telling you right now, I think it's gonna be a five out of five stars because I am digging it so much, especially because for two reasons. One reason is because we're seeing a lot of Yvonne and Sloane and I love them. They're like one of my favorites, I feel like couples. And so we're seeing a bunch of them now and I just, Sloane is this badass assassin and she tried to kill Yvonne in book one and then he took her as a captor. It was amazing. And then also the romance between um, Dom and Lara. Lara is the uh, daughter, police commissioner, person they are so cute together because he falls head over heels for her and she like has a lot of her own secrets too which i can't spoil but she's also an artist and he ends up paying for her to go to art classes and then she ends up volunteering him as the nude model <laughs> and it is so hilarious i love it so freaking much it's been absolutely amazing I'm so excited and I'm starting to see as well in this fourth book kind of the links that I think will go into Kingmakers. So I'm very curious to kind of see how everything's going to come together. I'm just, I'm so stoked. It's not even funny. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, so yes. Anyway, that's going to be it. That is my little update to tell you guys kind of what I'm in the middle of reading, what I have been reading, kind of just the whole debacle that's been going on with me lately because like it's been like an absolute mess but i will bring you guys downstairs when i do make pizza with my family and you guys can kind of see how that's all going and this is going to be just a really chill vlog because i don't really know anything going on in my life anymore so yes <laughs>
big hot shot, you know, in her town and she's like considered like the princess of it to an extent. And um one year ago she ended up going to watch this MMA fight and um there ended up being a massive shootout that ended up happening and then she ended up getting saved by these like three guys and then she ended up actually getting caught by the police afterwards and was framed basically for like setting up the entire shootout and like all these other criminal things that she had no part in. And now she's finally back in town a year later to attend university. And it turns out that her dad actually has gone ahead and married the mother of one of those guys who saved her a year ago. And now she's stuck living with the three of them while she's back in town attending college. And they're like all like supposed to be protecting her and like saving her from something because she's got like a stalker is going on. And it's really awesome because she's like determined to take them down and get revenge on them. Oh my God, I'm so into this like mystery subplot that is going on in this reverse harem. And Madison Kate is just such a badass. Like she's so here for like being, you know, her sexy, confident self. But then she's also like so sassy and badass. And like she punches them in the face at one point. She's like, you know what? No, uh, F you and punches him. And then like she needs him in the balls another time. It is just so hilarious. And like the sexy scenes in this, they have definitely been a bit more like far and few in between because like she hate these guys but it's also so sexually attracted to them that she's like what am i doing and so i'm really enjoying it once i finish this i don't know if i'm going to continue on with this series or pick something else up but did want to let you guys know that i am enjoying this madison kate book yeah i had a really fun christmas yesterday too and i love you guys a bunch and i'll catch you guys up later goodbye one hour later oh my god i just finished hate and it ends I'm like the worst damn cliffhanger in the entire world. I'm literally actively downloading the next book as I'm speaking because I'm like, what was that ending? What was that ending? What was that ending? Oh my God. Oh, why do I love this book? It was like, I know, I'm thinking it's like a, oh, my brain, there's like so much going on. This is such a good book. It's like probably like a flat style, like four, 4.5 stars. Like not definitely, def oh my God, <laughs> I can't right now. Definitely not like a full five, but like, oh my God. I'm so invested. It's not even funny. I need to know what happens next. So like, I'm I'm gonna read this right now. Like, I'm I'm downloading it. I'm about to. Uh, uh, there it is. What on earth? Oh my god! Why are these books so long? They're like almost 500 pages. Oh, dudes, this is so nice. I so. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna go read. Hello. It is the next day. I <laughs> am really cold. And I got this for Christmas. It's like this. I don't even. I can't. Anyway, um, update. Last night, I read the entirety of the second. I read two books in one day. Two four hundred and fifty tape. Two four hundred and fifty two. Two four hundred and fifty page books in a day. I don't think I've done that in like eons. Oh my god. But um. Oh, you sh. My Kindle just died. It's fine. I got a charge next to me. But I downloaded book three as soon as I finished book two. <laughs> and I'm going to read that now. It's like midday because uh, we had to go do some stuff today um, with family stuff. And so I'm going to read now. We don't have dinner until like seven o'clock at night. So I've got a couple hours to just chill and read. But I'm freaking loving this series. I hope I don't look like a mess right now, but I'm freaking loving this series. It is so addictive and just like, it always ends on cliffhangers. And like, I'm just like trying to figure out like, who is trying to kill her? Who did kill her mom? Who is the stalker? What are the secrets everyone is keeping? Everyone has so, m I'm like, oh, what is happening? So it's very addictive. I really enjoy it. And also it's been very good. We had some, Male, female, male action in book two, too. So, yes. Okay. I'm going to read the next book. Get you guys updated. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So it's like a couple hours later. I'm like 54% into book three. <laughs> God, I love this series so much. What the actual app? I was not expecting like this to happen at all. Like this is like such like, a nuts experience to like have this with a book. Oh my god, like, I just love it so much. Like, it's such a great reverse harem because, like, yeah, like, it's sexy and stuff, but it's, not, like, the main point of this reverse harem series is that, like, there's, like, this underlying kind of, like, thriller killer plot that I'm just, like, digging the crap out of, which is, like, something that I'm a huge fan of. Um, I like when there's, like, really solid plot to reverse harems, not just, you know, full-on erotica going on, although the stuff is hot, too. But this one's just so free. Like, I'm laughing my ass off all the time because Madison Kate is 
so badass, so sassy, and she's doing everything in her power to piss off Archer in this one. And he is so hilarious because like he's been like basically a bully to her for the first two books. And in this one, he's kind of like, mm, maybe I fucked up. And she's like, I don't care what you're trying to do now. I ain't taking none of that. And I'm just like, <sighs> dying. This is such a good series. Oh my God. I want to get back and read because I have only an hour before I have to get ready for dinner. By the way, we're going to my favorite restaurant in Vegas tonight. It's called Din Tai Fung. Mm! It's such a great um, dim sum place, especially because like they do vegan dim sum. So amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. Mwah. Oh my God, I just got home from dinner and I just finished book three on the way home like in the car. My favorite one yet. Worst cliffhanger yet too. That cliffhanger, this book series is going to literally be the death of me. It's not even funny. This last one is almost 600 pages. <laughs> I don't even know. I need, oh my God. I this series is giving me so much anxiety. It's so amazing. It's so great. I'm loving it. It's really enjoyable. They're all like between four to five stars, easily all of them. I'm just like, oh my God, everything just keeps escalating and it's just getting so out of hand. I just love them all and they need to all, they need to all survive. They need to all live. <sighs> this is such a stressful series. It's not even funny. Anyway, I need to upload some content for a video tomorrow. Yeah. I don't even want to edit my video for tomorrow because I just want to be reading, but I need to edit and upload my 2022 debuts. But like, I don't even want to do that. because I just want to be reading this damn book, but it's fine. I'm going to do that anyway. But <sighs> the amount of anxiety I have going through me right now is not even funny. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hello. Okay, so first off, I got a haircut today. I don't think anyone can actually tell, but I did get three inches cut off, which is a huge deal to me. Not much to anyone else. But I did want to come in and update because I'm ending this vlog finally, but I refused to end the vlog until I had finished the entire Madison K quartet, which I eventually did today. So I read all four books in three days. They're like 500 pages. How did I do that? Magic. I'm actually quite proud of myself. Honestly, I could have done it in two days if I really felt like it, but I was busy yesterday, so I couldn't. Um, I freaking love this series so much. I'm so excited to move on to her second series, which is her Hades Quartet. Because once you finish that, you then get to read a Madison Kate novella, but you can't read that novella until you read the Hades Quartet, which I'm so excited about because it has to do with stuff that you learn about in the quartet, which I can't say because it spoils a lot of different things that you learn during the way. So I'm so excited for it. I'm beyond stoked. Um, I love the series. I would say book one was 4.5 stars. Second book was four stars. Third book was five stars. Fourth book was four stars. Only because like you finally get everything wrapped up in the last book. You finally learn everything, learn all the secrets, who the stalker is, who's killing her, all this other stuff. And I did enjoy it. I do think like some of the reveals, I was just like, what? Like, I feel like I wish that one of the reveals had been something that made a bit more sense in my opinion, but that was just personal preference of mine. Otherwise, I really enjoyed it. She's got a really easy writing style. I love the way that she writes her female main characters. It was just really badass. She leaves off on the best cliffhangers in the entire world. Literally, book four leaves off on you finding out who Hades is. It goes, Madison Kate, meet Hades. And it's her being like, oh my god, it's you. It just ends. It just... <laughs> I had to do to not start Hades right away to be like, who is Hades? Ridiculous. But I have other things I need to be reading. I can't just throw everything on the wayside for Tate James <laughs> as much as I do want to. I loved it. I know that I did mention, I hope that I did mention that one of the guys ends up getting his <laughs> pierced. And it's so funny because they start calling him all these hilarious names like Pincushion and Metalhead. <laughs> Uh, oh god, I love that series so much. So many great quotes. Oh my god, the amount of things that I highlighted in those books. Priceless. Cannot wait for the special edition hardcovers to come out because I will be buying those up in a heartbeat. Not even joking. But um, yeah, anyway, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please like button down below. If you want to see more of me, please go to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch, everyone. Bye-bye. I just realized in the course of this vlog, which has taken place over a week... How many books? I read four, five, six. I read seven books in seven days.
That's pretty impressive. I just realized that. Anyway, bye.